In the vast expanse of the universe, light serves as the ultimate measure of the cosmos' boundless wonders. From the warming rays of our sun to the distant glimmer of ancient quasars, the study of celestial luminosity not only enlightens us about the universe's structure, but also about its history and our place within. This magnificent expanse, this exploration, will take us from the familiar glow of our solar neighborhood to the most brilliant beacons of the distant universe, revealing the awe-inspiring power of cosmic light around us. Around us. At the core of our solar system lies the Sun, a G-type main-sequence star that has illuminated Earth for over 4.6 billion years. Its luminosity is a testament to the immense nuclear fusion processes at its core, where hydrogen is converted into helium, releasing energy in the form of light and heat. This energy is crucial for life on Earth, driving our planet's climate and weather systems, and fueling photosynthesis in plants. Despite its centrality to our existence, the sun's luminosity is modest compared to many stars in the Milky Way. Its brightness, a product of its size, temperature, and distance from Earth, provides a baseline for astronomers to measure and compare the luminosity of other celestial objects. The sun's light, taking approximately eight minutes and 20 seconds to reach Earth, is a constant reminder of the universe's dynamic nature and the intricate balance that sustains life. Beyond the confines of our solar system, Sirius, also known as the Dog Star, commands the night sky. Situated in the constellation Canis Major, approximately 8.6 light years from Earth, Sirius outshines all of the visible stars due to its inherent brightness in proximity to our planet. Classified as an A1V type star, Sirius boasts a surface temperature significantly hotter than the Sun contributing to its blue-white hue and remarkable luminosity. Sirius's brightness is not merely a function of its physical properties, but also a marker in the tapestry of human culture and history, guiding ancient civilizations in their agricultural and navigational endeavors. Modern astronomy measures Sirius's luminosity at approximately 25.4 times that of the Sun, providing a celestial landmark for scientists and stargazers alike to explore the mysteries of the night. Venturing further into the cosmos, the discovery of R136A1 in the Large Magellanic Cloud redefines the boundaries of stellar luminosity. This behemoth, a wolf rayet star, is currently known as the most luminous and massive star, with an estimated mass over 250 times that of the Sun and a luminosity of about 6.2 million times greater. R136A1's extraordinary brightness sheds light on the life cycle of massive stars their role in shaping the interstellar medium, and their eventual fate as supernovae. R136 AOA, one resides within a dense star cluster, challenging our understanding of star formation and the limits of stellar mass and brightness. Its extreme luminosity has significant implications for astrophysics, providing insights into the mechanisms of radiation-driven winds and the dynamics of supermassive stars in young star clusters. Quasars, or quasi-stellar objects, are among the most powerful and distant objects in the universe. Discovered in the early 1960s, these celestial phenomena quickly became a focal point of astronomical research, offering insights into the early universe, galaxy formation, and the nature of supermassive black holes. At the heart of a quasar lies a supermassive black hole. Millions to billions of times the mass of the sun, voraciously consuming surrounding gas and dust. This accretion process generates immense heat and light, propelling the quasar to the pinnacle of cosmic luminosity. The brightness of a typical quasar can outshine an entire galaxy, making them visible across vast cosmic distances. The recent discovery of Quasar J 5-9435107's luminosity is estimated to be a staggering 500 trillion times that of the sun, a figure that not only highlights its intrinsic power, but also raises questions about the nature of its supermassive black hole. 
The black hole at the center of J5 to 9435107, under the pressure of radiation, balances the inward pull of gravity. This quasar's incredible brightness and the rate of accretion challenge our understanding of black hole growth and the dynamics of quasars. It serves as a prime example of the extreme conditions that can exist in the universe, offering astronomers a unique opportunity to study the processes that fuel such extraordinary emissions of energy. The study of quasars like J5 to 9435107 expands our knowledge of matter and energy under intense gravitational and radiative forces. Future explorations, powered by next-generation telescopes and observatories, promise to uncover more about these enigmatic objects. Projects like the Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, and the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, are poised to peer deeper into the cosmos, revealing quasars from the universe's earliest epochs and providing unprecedented details about their structure and behavior. From the comforting glow of our sun to the distant brilliance of Quasar J5 to 9435107, the journey through cosmic luminosity has revealed the universe's vastness and diversity. Each celestial body we've explored, from stars like Sirius and R136a, one to the luminous Quasar J5 to 9435107, contributes a verse to the grand cosmic narrative showcasing the universe's beauty and complexity. As we continue to push the boundaries of exploration, seeking out new sources of light in the dark tapestry of space, we not only expand our knowledge of the cosmos, but also deepen our appreciation for the delicate balance of forces that make the universe a place of endless wonder and discovery. The quest for understanding the luminous cosmos is a testament to human curiosity and our unyielding desire to unravel the mysteries of the universe, one photon at a time.